All right, we're hours away from this winter storm making its way towards Pittsburgh, probably about 12 hours away as it stands right now. Winter storm warnings from uh, basically Washington County, Westmoreland County, points north, points east, points west, and winter weather advisories down to the south. Any way you look at it, there will be some issues with travel as we go into this weekend. Timing of those issues depends on where you're at. Right now, there is some snow well up to the north that's going to stay there, but as we go through time, it's this part of the storm that's basically going to dip down to the south and cut right through Pittsburgh. So that's what we're watching for our biggest impacts. So let's take this hour by hour and show you what we're going to be dealing with. Now, as we get up early tomorrow morning, there's the clock. You can see fairly quiet. Some snow showers way up north, mostly cloudy skies. If you have something you need to do tomorrow, the early morning is the best time to get that done. So as we go through the day, here's 10 a.m. You start seeing the snow showers moving in. The mix, which could include freezing rain, that causes major travel issues. Rain south of that. Now into lunchtime, this is noon. That snow spreads across the area. This darker blue would indicate a steadier snow shower. And you'll notice areas, basically Butler County points north, are going to stay mainly in the snow throughout this event. Now, this particular model wants to bring some warm air up pretty far. There could be a period of time where Pittsburgh has just rain. We're going to see some snow showers before that happens. We're going to see snow showers after that happens. So once if this rain makes it into the city, just know you're not quite done with the snow just yet because that snow starts to sink back down as that colder air wraps in. You get a mix again, and along that mix, you get these bands of snow that are pretty heavy. So that'll leave down additional coatings. And when those transitions go from rain back to snow, you can't pre-treat that. So it's going to be snowing again, and there's going to be heavy snow, and there's going to be nothing on the ground to prevent things from freezing. So keep that in mind. Crews are going to have to work double hard after that one. And there's going to be snow showers left over Sunday morning. Those clear out of here through the day and the coldest air of the season starts to drain into Pittsburgh and the region. And that could cause a flash freeze. Anything untreated at that point could refreeze, will likely refreeze. Most intense snow north of Pittsburgh. Basically, uh, we're looking at uh, route to 228 Cranberry Mars points north for the worst in the snow. Now, as for the freezing rain, that is looking to set up in the ridges. So that's the best potential there. When it comes to big snowfall amounts, we're looking at 8 to 12 inches, basically but somewhere between uh, route 228 and 422 points north, 4 to 8 inches from that point down into the city of Pittsburgh, 2 to 4 south, that 1 to 2 where you see more rain than anything else. So tonight it's cloudy skies, 25 degrees, quiet conditions. Those quiet conditions last into the morning. That winter storm warning takes over. We look at the rain, the snow, the sleet, the freezing rain, pretty much everything winter has to offer will be in the KDK viewing area and over the span of 20 to 30 miles. 36 for your high temperature. The coldest air of the season comes in Sunday, falling temperatures. So we'll start off waking up at about 16 degrees. Temperatures falling from that point. It stays cold on Monday. We see those numbers coming up and some rain and snow next week, as well as this stormy setup lingers in the area. And remember, the KDK weather app is a great tool to help you get through this storm. First of all, it has the radar. You can track this storm right into your neighborhood. It has hourly forecasts, daily forecasts, alerts, and more. And it's in your app store or Google Play store for free.